Hey guys, um, Claudio and Cena. Absolutely freezing at the moment <laughs> as we get into winter. I thought I'd just quickly uh, reach out and um, talk about, I'm gonna be doing a, a monthly vlog. You may or may not have heard me. Just to capture a bit of, um, a little bit more of what I do and who I am and you know, um, what I do with a lot of my clients on a day-to-day -day level. I just wanna give you guys as much insight and content. My, I suppose, mission has always been to um, help as many people as possible in the real estate space, especially agents and principals and sales associates. Uh, so if you get to watch this, I'm really looking for a, a super cool name of, uh, for my vlog. If you can come up with a cool name, there we go. I'm gonna give you a free session. Right away, DM me, put it on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. I'm on all those great channels out there. And this is where agents are getting caught out in today. You know what I mean? It's, you know where they're getting caught out? They're relying on history. Like working with buyers agents is so important right now, you know, because they're working with qualified buyers. They start building relationships with them, you know. I think we just sort of sometimes, we're throwing darts at the dartboard. You've got, to, you've got to know your ideal client, who you're going to sell to. If you, don't, if you don't know that, how do you expect to sell a home? How do you expect to represent your clients? I better eat some breakfast. <laughs> This is the, you did this, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw this. Maybe you want to do a property video. I should bring more, bring more eyes in as well and just do a little song and dance. Yeah. <laughs> it opens on Saturday, but it could be sold by today's buyers. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, sorry. Sold it off the, off the iPhone. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk soon, okay? Yeah, give me a call over the weekend. Let me know your opens go. It's okay. Thanks, Ian. Talk to you later. It was good, yeah? Yeah, I think so. So we've nailed um, one appointment this morning on a one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is super cool because that was all literally about, um, you know, targeting expired listings in the market, understanding, you know, growth mindset versus uh, fixed mindset. But uh, heading over now to do a group session with some agents uh, this morning for a two-hour workshop. So, um, we're here at our next second appointment for the day. Um, we've got a group session with agents. It's really going to be about um, seven traits of uh, high performing agents. Anyway, I've got to bounce because I've got to get into this uh, session and get the laptop ready and the PowerPoint ready. So, catch you soon. <laughs> Is it still cold or is it just me? It's cold, oh, it's cold, eh? Yeah. It's cold this morning. Hello, winter. <laughs> Max, how are you? It's you, look at you, eh? Oh, not as look, he's got, look at this, he's got, ah, oh, come on, come on. <laughs> Some notebook. Yeah, you know, the past three months, I've been working with a lot of the agent speakers who will be speaking at ARIC. He, uh, this morning, sort of said to me, because I had a one-on-one -on -one session this morning before coming in here, said to me, um, Claire, who do you think of the agents who are struggling a little bit more than, more than anyone? And I've got to tell you, the agents who have probably been in the industry for three years or less, as an agent, like a, a senior agent, not talking about sales associates or anything like that, but a, a senior agent, because you know they've been coming into a market where there's been momentum and some great traction for the last you know three to five years, and all of a sudden, the last three months, it's just sort of like come to a grinding halt, yeah? We've got to have a better way to be able to create influence, okay, with our clients, and have a level of persuasion, not for my advantage, but for the advantage of the client, yeah? Because it's all about the client, all right?